Hi there, this is Nevin with r and Motorsports. Today I have something very special. We have the brand new 2022 CF Moto U-Force 1000 XL. As you can see, this is a six-seater configuration compared to the regular three-seater. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. So this is going to be for the Canadian spec models. The Canadian and the US spec models are slightly different, so just please take note of that if you are watching from the States. Right up front here, all CF Moto machines do come standard with a winch. And then up front on the U-Forces, you do have a front mount hitch location as well. You have full LED lights. You can see the daytime running lights in there with LED low beam projectors and LED reflector high beams, as well as integrated LED turn signals. Just take a look up the shocks here. Very nice suspension in these machines. They are adjustable. These come fitted with nice stag tires. These are on the front, so you have 26 by nine by 14s. This thing's about 12.3 feet long. You can tell it's an absolute monster. It's humongous. You do have these nice full out side mirrors for if you're, you know, you got it on the trailer, you got an enclosed trailer, you fold those in. Nice LED tail lights on this as well. Those are going to be as well for your brake lights and there are turn signals in the rear also. You do have a two inch receiver back here, which is rated for roughly 2,000 pounds of towing. Nice huge cargo box back here, which does dump. So you have a nice little tailgate right here. Pop that down. The box is rated for roughly 1,000 pounds. So it'll pretty much handle anything you need it to. And it is dumping. So all you need to do on either side, just pull up on a lever, just like that. The box will lift up all by itself. Now in turn that also works for if you need to get access to some of the air filters, part of the motor, that sort of thing. To bring the box down, all you do is basically grab by the handle here, push until you hear a click, and that's how you close the box up. Tailgate, just like a regular truck tailgate, come back here, just up on it, boom, you're good to go. They do have locking gas caps, which is a nice little additional too, so you're not having people siphon your fuel with the prices the way they are. Let's get a nice side view of this again. Now, like I said, this is a six-seater model, so we'll take a look at the rear seats back here. I will put it in wide angle. For reference, I'm roughly six foot two, so if we get in here, my legs basically touch the back. Now, if I sit all the way back in the seat, I, I'm not touching. You do have a nice little grab handle here. You have some USB charging right up there, dual cup holders. And then also, if you only have two rear passengers, you can drop this guy down right here like so. You get more cup holders, a little bit of extra storage, etc. And then that guy just kind of latches back on there like so. Now, if we hop out of this, you can actually fold up this entire bench right here. It's a little hard to do with one hand. You basically just have to watch the seat belts. Kind of push them out of the way. You have access to your ECU. You got a little bit of storage underneath here. A little storage there. And then that's actually a removing toolbox. I'll go over to that, that side there and show you. Secure the exhaust while we're back here. Take a look at the suspension. Coming back up to the rear here, you do have this removable toolbox, which just pulls right up, like so. And then all you do is pull that down, open it up, and then you have a nice size toolbox. Now I have seen people drill holes in the bottom of those and turn them into coolers too. So a little bit of multi-usage there. And then that just sits in its home underneath there. And then once you're done, you just basically watch the seat belts and then pop this bench seat. Again, it's a little difficult to do with one hand, but pop that back down and then it just presses back in place. Grab handles for both passengers back there. Unfortunately, the middle passenger is out of luck. 
Moving up here to the front of the machine. The nice thing with this uh, this XL is they were they moved the motor back, right? Normally this removable toolbox and such sits up front on the regular U-Force 1000. So on the XL, when you lift up this seat, you actually have this massive pass-through storage area. It's absolutely humongous. You can store just about anything underneath of there. If we go over to the other side, I'll actually lift up that driver's side seat and show you as well. And this seat lifts up very easily. You just come back here. There's a little lever right back on the seat there. You just pull up on it, and you pull up on the seat. Now you can't access the storage area underneath of this. You just have to pull up this little plastic panel, but it does pass right underneath the seat there. Again, just be mindful of the seat belts. And then this guy should just pop right back down in place. There we go. The nice thing with the U-Force 1000 XL, the seats do slide forwards and backwards. Now it's easier when you have your body weight on the seat, you can move it forwards and backwards as such. And same with the rear, if you only have two passengers, that side does drop down for additional cup holders and storage. We'll look up here now, you do have a parking brake. You have your four wheel drive control. So we'll zoom in a little bit there for you. On the left hand side there, that's gonna be your rear wheel drive. Pop it in the middle like so. That's gonna turn the machine into four wheel drive. And then pop it over one more time and you can actually lock the front differential. You have your light control here. So you have your off, daytime running light and on, low beam, high beam. And then you have a little bit of a, you have a winch connector underneath it there. Obviously gas and brake. Your steering wheel is adjustable. I'll show you that on the other side in just a moment. You have a glove box, you just pull up on that. And underneath inside the glove box, included with Canadian spec models is a brake, trailer brake controller, or sorry, trailer light controller. So you can actually plug your four pin, um, that plugs into the machine, and then you have a four pin right there, and that just plugs into your trailer. You have a plug-in winch, so you can actually plug that underneath the steering wheel, or you can also use the wireless winch remote. All of that is included with the U-Force 1000 XL from factory. Pop that down, a little bit more storage underneath there and such. You have more USB charging and 12 volt accessory uh, plugins. And then you have some more cup holders, a little bit of extra storage up there. Right here, you'll notice you do have turn signals and that's gonna indicate on the screen whenever you're using them. You'll see on the top left corner there and then on the top right corner. Again, this is a Canadian spec machine, so they do come with those turn signals as well as that is your four-way flashers. You'll see that on there. You do have a drift and drive mode kind of uh, selector there. So that's gonna be either normal mode or work mode. And when you press the button, you'll actually notice the screen does change slightly. Nothing significant, but a little, little transition. What that's gonna do is actually change what the machine's going to rev to as well as its top speed. So if you need to, let's say you're pulling a trailer, you have a lot of people in the machine with you, you need as much power as you can get, put it into work mode, you're gonna get a better top speed and a little bit more power out of the machine. On this side, you're gonna see the red switch there. That's going to be your engine kill switch, as you can see. And you hear the machine just turned off. You have your horn, and you have your differential overdrive. So basically, when the differential is locked on the four wheel drive there, the front diff, when it's locked, it's gonna limit the machine at about 35 kilometers per hour. Now, when you press and hold on this button, it's going to allow you to actually spin the wheels faster than 35K. Obviously, we don't recommend doing that for an extended period of time as you can't snap axles or ruin a differential. So it's really an emergency kind of, uh, kind of switch there. You'll see your gear selector with park, reverse, neutral, high and low. And then there's your steering wheel adjuster right there. And then to start the machine, just put your foot on the brake there, turn the key, and the machine fires right up. And again, we'll just take another look at the screen there. I'll zoom in a bit for you so you can see everything that's going on there. So again, this is the Canadian Spec 2022 U-Force 1000 XL. This is a six passenger machine producing about 71 horsepower. It's a little tuned down, a little uh, same motor as the regular 1000, but obviously with a little bit more weight, you lose a little bit of power. So. Again, this is Nevin with r, &R Trail Motorsports taking a look at the 2022 CF Moto U-Force 1000 XL. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching. I figured I'd throw a little clip in the end here for you folks to see the difference in size between the regular U-Force 1000 and the XL. So we'll zoom back into normal, normal zoom. You can kind of see it does sit a little bit higher up. And it is obviously going to be a bit longer, as you can see. And we'll go take a look at the front. Overall, much larger machine. Thanks for watching.